Okay, guys, so I wanted to pop in here real quick and show you something. You think it's safe for a Christian to go to concerts? So this is a concert poster for Tool. Um, I've actually heard them before. They came out. Oh, no, it wasn't them. Oh, yeah, it might have been them. No, it wasn't them. They didn't come to Iraq. It was a different one. But um, um, I've been near and, and at uh, some uh, over the years. Mainly when I was younger, I didn't do it anymore because I just couldn't stand how loud it was. But um, uh, Christians shouldn't be going to concerts. Now, a lot of people will say, well, there's no no harm in that. Well, look at this poster. This is the poster for Tool. This just popped up in my YouTube feed. And it's going to be happening in Corpus Christi, Texas, on January 30th. No, I will not be going. But the what caught my, caught my attention was this, this image. So this is a skeleton that has eight arms. It's got a big, tall crown on its head. It has three sets of eyes. And I saw this and I was like, I know who this is. This looks like Shiva. Now, Shiva, the god of Shiva, Hindu god, is a minor, tep typically minor god. But it's a form of another god, which is the major Hindu god over all these, which is the uh, warrior goddess uh, Durga. I'm going to show you something here uh, that proves that that's what that is. So these guys are into Hinduism, obviously. So the goddess Durga, the Hindu goddess with eight arms, is often depicted as goddess Durga. She is a warrior goddess who is seen as the embodiment of the collective power of all the gods and goddesses. Her eight arms symbolize her ability to wield many different weapons and use them to defeat her enemies. Now, so let's go to some images and let's take a look. Now, this is typically Shiva right here. But this is also Durga. They're all connected. They're all the same thing. But what I, what I want you to notice here in some of these pictures is, look how tall the crown is. Remember on the poster? That big, tall crown? Here, look at the arms. But notice it doesn't show three sets of eyes. Well, let me get to the right one here. And I'll show you how those are actually depicted. Well, come on. Help me out here. Where is it at? Trying to get a close up. Okay, I can zoom in. Okay, so so you can see here. This is actually all the different Hindu gods all coming together in this one Hindu god Durga. But look at the eyes. So there, you see her normal eyes. That's one set of eyes. Do you see the one in between her eyes? The dot. That's another another eye. See the dot above that dot. Well, let me go any further. That's another eye. So when you count the, the eyes, like even the third eye, is it, when they talk about that in the center of your forehead is a single eye, it still counts as two eyes because you see with two eyes. So the normal set are two, but each other eye that they have is a, considered a set of eyes. So they showed in that poster three sets of eyes, this this person actually, they're trying to hide that, but this, this quote-unquote goddess actually has three sets of eyes. I wish I could find a closer picture. Let's see here. This goddess has three, look at the crown. Look how tall the crown is, how it comes up to that point. I could zoom in on a tighter picture maybe this one okay so see the red dot that's considered a pair of eyes a set of eyes see the eye that's sideways up in the forehead that's considered another pair of eyes or a set of eyes so this image here is Durga they're, they're, these guys are into Hinduism. They worship the goddess Durga. Eight arms. Look at the crown. Big, tall crown. Comes up to a point. Look at the decorations on it and everything, just like the pictures we looked at. And there's three sets of eyes. And so you have the normal set. Then you have the set, the red dot, which is the set up there. They even have red on either side of them to signify that they're the red dot. So that's the red dot there. And then the set above that is the one right in the middle of the forehead. Yeah. So 
This is what these guys are into. So it's not safe for Christians to go and get involved in this stuff that's worldly. Stay away from those things. This is temptation. Because if this is what these guys are into, then it will come across in their music and in their actions on stage. Look at some of the stuff they've done on, on in concerts and that here lately. Especially last year and the year before. It was horrible. Well, no different. They're actually telling you exactly who they worship and who they believe in. I mean, they talk about CERN as doing all this great things for, for humanity, yet they have a picture of Shiva right up front. The God of Shiva. And they've admitted that they're trying to resurrect her. There is no God other than our God. But they're not even hiding it. They're they're because they 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 they're hoping people are going to not pay attention and not see it. But if you do even just a little bit of research like I just did, 10, 10 minutes and you find everything you need to know. So yeah, stay away from these things, guys. This evil is everywhere. These false gods and goddesses are everywhere. This God doesn't exist. There ain't nothing about this that's true at all. But that's what, they, that's what they're into. That's what they worship. See, nobody will go after Hinduism. They think there's nothing wrong with Hinduism. It's all peace, love, and chicken grease. Or love, peace, and chicken grease. No. It's false gods. False gods. Because... The things that they think that they believe in are actually things that are much worse in the in the underworld that are going to rise during the tribulation. Because all this stuff in Hinduism goes, it actually, I found, I did a video a couple years ago, it actually links back to um, Apollyon, which is the, the demon is supposed to come up out of the, out of the earth and uh, lay waste to everything. So yeah, I just wanted to show that because it just popped up. Just right after I got done filming, this popped up and I'm like, wait a minute, I know what that is. And so I thought I would share that to you. Be, be wary of what you get involved in these days. I think this might be a really good year for, for people all around that are, that are actual believers to start removing themselves from this stuff, you know, not going to this stuff. Now, you may have a bunch of friends that will say, hey, let's go to the Tool concert in Corpus Christi. Or let's go to wherever, wherever you're at. And you say, no. What does the Bible say? They're going to they're gonna wonder why you don't go and, and hang out with them and do things with them and, and party with them. It's because I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. I, I'm not I'm told not to get involved in that, especially when it is blatantly obvious what they're into and what they're promoting. Hindu worship. And that goes across the whole gambit of society. If we know the truth, we can't sit there and say we didn't know. It's right here, literally right on the on the feed. I mean, it's, they're not hiding it anymore. Of what, who, what, and who they really believe in. So, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Watch out for this stuff. It's everywhere. It, it's it's a good idea to do a little studying and be versed up on this. And when you find stuff like this, search it. Search for it. See if it's something that's involved with something demonic. And if it is, stay away from it. Don't have nothing to do with it. Don't even get close to it. Remove yourself from those things. Because what that'll do is that'll show the world. You're not like them. And it'll show the Lord that you've chosen him. 